Hello students today we are going to read and understand poem 1 that is the ant and the cricket so a fable is a story often with animals as character that conveys a moral this poem about an ant and a cricket contains an idea of far reaching significance which is as true of a four legged cricket as of a two legged one surely you have seen a cricket that has two legs so the poem the ant and the cricket is a fable a fable is a traditional story that teaches us a moral lesson usually the characters in fable are animals this poem also teaches us a very important lesson of being industrious like an ant it also teaches us we should not be like the cricket here two legged cricket refers to human beings now let's read and understand this poem stanza 1 a silly young cricket accustomed to sing through the warm sunny months of gay summer and spring begin to complain where he found that at home his cupboard was empty and winter was come in this stanza accustomed means usual and gay means happy so once there was a silly cricket who was fond of singing all through summer and spring seasons as soon as the winter season approached he started complaining about his almira which was empty or had no food stored in it stanza 2 not a crumb to be found on the snow covered ground not a flower could he see not a leaf on a tree oh what will become says the cricket of me here crumb means small fragment of cake bread or biscuit so in this stanza the cricket felt pathetic to see the winter approaching and he did not have any hope to get a crumb of food to eat he could see no flowers or leaves on any tree the cricket was thinking what would happen to him stanza 3 at last by starving and famine made bold all dripping with wet and all trembling with cold away he set off to a miserly end to see if to keep him alive he would grant so here starvation means suffering or death caused by lack of food famine means extreme scarcity of food trembling means shaking as a result of anxiety and grant means to allow so in this stanza the cricket was starving due to famine and hunger and did not have any resources to sustain himself during the cold months of winter the winter had taken a toll of his health he did not have any shelter and food so he decided to meet an ant with the hope that the ant would help him with something that would save his life stanza 4 him shelter from rain and a mouthful of grain he wished only to borrow he would repay it tomorrow if not he must die of starvation and sorrow so in this stanza mouthful means bite borrow means to take and repay means to refund so the cricket reached out the ant to seek his help for shelter the rains had made it difficult for the cricket to save himself from the cold he wanted some grain or food to save himself from hunger and starvation he promised that he would repay it as soon as the harsh season was over if he was not helped he would die soon stanza number 5 says the ant to the cricket i am your servant and friend 
बट वी एंड्स नेवर बोरो वी एंड्स नेवर लैंड बट टेल मी डियर क्रिकेट डिड यू लेर नथिंग बाय वेन द वेदर वॉज वॉम कोट द क्रिकेट नॉट आय हेयर सर्वेंट इज अ पर्सन हू परफॉर्म्स ड्यूटी फॉर अदर्स बोरो मीन्स टू टेक एंड लैंड मीन्स टू गिव लोन सो द एंड फेल्ट सॉरी फॉर द क्रिकेट फॉर हिज इन एबिलिटी टू हेल्प हिम बट द एंड टोल्ड दैट द एंड्स डिड नॉट बोरो और लैंड एनी थिंग दै फोर द एंड्स वर सेल्फ सफिशियंट एंड डिड नॉट गो बैग इन द एंड आस्ड हिम इफ ही हैड नॉट सेव्ड एनी थिंग फॉर द विंटर द क्रिकेट हैड नॉट रिप्लाई as he had saved nothing this made the end quite shocked and surprised my heart was so light that i sang day and night for all nature looked gay you sang sir you say go then says the end and dances the winter away in the stanza the cricket told the ant that he was very happy during happy months of summer that he had only sang and danced the whole day along he found the nature so fascinating that he could not think about the approaching harsh months of winter the ant advised him to go dance all through winter as there was no point crying over split milk stands are seven thus ending he hastily lifted the wicket and out of the door turned the poor little cricket folks call this a fable i'll warrant it true some crickets have four legs and some have two so here hastily means quickly the ant got annoyed with the cricket and asked him to go as in his opinion those who did not wish to help themselves could not be saved by others in the last stanza the poet gives message to all of us the story is true for the four legged cricket and is also true for two legged cricket that is humans so here explanation of this poem gets over this poem is adapted from aesop's fables and this poem conveys a very realistic message it shows if one does not think for future one is destined to suffer the cricket in the story represent the human beings who are not wise enough to save for future such fellow face very awkward situation in the future it is a humiliating situation it makes them weak and morally down at that time no one comes to their help but there are people like the ant who are bold their boldness is only due to their planned life they live happily forever we should be like ant and not like the cricket